Hey guys, this is uh, just a little, uh, not a review, just a presentation basically. Just got this uh, um, MSR uh, hand water filter. And uh, this is what comes, it comes in a nice box like this. As you can see here on the side has a picture of all the different things. And then here is the actual, uh, says what it filters. The only thing it doesn't filter is viruses, but everything else it does filter. It filters up to uh, 0.2 microns, and this is everything you'll get in the kit. You get the uh, nice canvas bag with a netting in the back of it, and with everything in it, um, still has room for additional stuff if you want to put additional stuff in there. Comes with the hose here, and this is a thick gauge hose. Um, I don't know if you can pick this up, but the wall of the hose itself is a lot thicker than the conventional hose, like maybe you find on a fish tank or pump or so forth. Has a nice weight around it, stop free and also has a flotation device. Comes with the cap and the gauge here. This red part is a gauge, which I'll show you in a second. Comes with a, um, kind of like a uh, scrub pad because this uh, filter is able to be cleaned in the field. And then the uh, hand filter itself kind of reminds me of a flashbang. Simply it's a kind of like a, a pump handle comes off, I had to have it taken off, but uh, it's a pump method. I want to show you real quick the filter itself. Take off, the, untwist the top here. And this is the outlet for the fresh water. You simply just push down on your thumb a little bit, which injects the top of the cartridge. Here's the cartridge itself. It's a ceramic cartridge and it's best not to put your hands on it, but um, in use, you'll see um, stuff built up on here. It'll be black, and um, you can hand wash it off, or you can use the supplied scrubby and scrub the perimeter of this cartridge. And uh, this is what the, or the uh, red gauge is made for. Eventually, this will start uh, deteriorate after being used and stuff like that kind of uh, period of time and uh, this gauge will t basically tells you if the um, filter is still good by simply holding it up like so and uh, taking the gauge and as long as the gauge stops from going around it it's still good and uh, you'll eventually see it it'll start wearing down to the point if this clears clears around it then it needs time to be changed. So with that in mind, it has a removable ring here. Make sure that side goes down into the canister, like so. Push simply push it down. And then twist the top back on. Like so. And you're good to go. As you can see here it comes with a variety of languages, up to eight different languages. Um for you to choose from, so no matter where you are, what country, I'm sure there's a instruction manual for your language. As you see here, as I pan through, and just to give you some general information here, um, the width of it is 2.75, 2.75. The length is 7.5 or seven and a half inches. Total weight. I don't know if this is a weight with everything included or just the canister by itself. It has just a grand total weight of one pound. So I'm thinking that's with everything in the bag that you see here before you is about one pound. It has a flow rate of one liter per minute. And it's good, the filter should be good, the internal filter should be good for 2,000 liters or roughly 528 gallons of water. That's give and take of the conditions of being used. If it's fairly clean water, 
and you don't have to clean the filter as often you'll get more obviously more out of it than versus maybe if it's uh, more heavily dirted, uh, dirty water and you have to clean clean the filter more often um, other than that just want to throw this out here real quick um, this is the outlet for the clean water this is set up to fit a water bottle or the camelback um, bladders which I'll show you in the next video of the demonstration of this being used and some um, capabilities as far as uh, what to hook this bottom half to but other than that this cap as you see here does screw into the bottom of this to keep this clean because this is where your fresh water comes out of so until then the next video will be me demonstrating the use of this and uh, what bottles and what different apparatuses do fit down here if you choose to, to use them. If not, you get to simply hold it over um, a, bowl, a bowl or something and have the water fall into there. So, um, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned to the next video.